Samira says, hello, I want to create a flow that can convert the Excel files extension from XLSM to XLX, XLSX, and upload it into a SharePoint. I want to know if a model that can do this action exists in Power Automate. I believe you can do a file save as, but there's some cautions that you need to know. The XLSM extension is a macro enabled Excel file. And if you load that into the browser, those uh, as an XLS, those automations no longer work. And which is a safety thing. There's script that runs those can actually touch all the way to your machine. It can, it can activate and do things to your computer with that um, VBA, Visual Basic programming language is behind those. So it's dangerous. And you want to make sure that all of your files that have the M extension um, instead of just the X are either stored in a trusted location um, or when you open them, you can store them in a SharePoint document library. But that document library, you have to either enable the file to be opened directly into the desktop application. You cannot open and do any of those automations in the browser. So there's some cautions so, on that one. So if you had that in that SharePoint library without taking those additional steps, would it just not open? Would it throw an error? It, it would open, but it would definitely give you the nasty gram that there are macros in here that have been disabled. And it's because they're script. There's actual, this is one of the ways, if, if you ever get those emails, they're like, open this email because somebody sent you money and you open a file and it, it actually runs a script because there's an on open that is attached to that. So this is for the safety of the people that are using these files. You need to know where they're coming from, who wrote them, and then designate the best thing to do, best practice is create a trusted location on your computer, which could be a synced OneDrive, which is what I do. It's either a OneDrive or a SharePoint library. They sync to the local drive where the M files are and I open them from there. I don't open them from the browser because it will deactivate the, the macros in the browser. But yeah, this is a whole lot of caution and it depends and <laughs> bewares in this question. So I don't know that I would add an automation on top of a file that's already got script in it. That's a little dangerous, I think. Well, did we answer the second half of the question though? Uh, I mean, there's, you can convert and it breaks the macros. Is there, maybe they don't care about that and just want to do the conversions. Um, is that something, is there a, pot, a power automate command that can rename file extensions? File save as, you can do file save and you can save any file as an extension. Um, I'll look to see, I'll do some research and see if I can find a resource for that. I've never done it, but I also didn't want people like, oh, this is a great idea without knowing all of the yeah. pitfalls behind it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do some research.